Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here in downtown Bellevue this evening at Daniel's Broiler, VIP reception supporting the Lenny Wilkins Foundation. And look who dropped by, Slick Watts. So nice to see you. Thanks for coming by and talking to us this well, evening. Thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure being here. It's, a, it's always a big pleasure being around Coach Wilkins and the foundation. And it's one of the best nights, Thursday nights, you're going to get in the city. <laughs> all the people out here, all the people that are sponsors and all the people that into anything is here. Well, you have a, a, a long history of community service, so I don't think that people would really be surprised to find you here this evening. I, I think it's something that's important in your life, it sounds like. Well, all my life, I, I always wanted to give back, and um, I always believe that when I played, my philosophy was simple. We used to go to Buffalo, New York, and we played in front of empty seats, and I could never play good. So I always needed to people. So it is my way of giving back, saying I thank you for being there. Well, I know your community service dates back to the 70s. Uh, the league recognized you with the J. Walter Kennedy Citizenship Award. What did that mean to you even back then? Oh, that meant a lot. That meant that um, people like Kareem and Wes Unsell, Nate Archibald, even Coach Wilkins, people like that was on the scene. And for them to, to not mean with that award was, was great to say that uh, I was the one, the chosen one, that they thought had given more back to the community. And then when I went to places like New York and Boston, L.A., all the places that I dreamed of going, people used to just talk to me on the floor. And I was, it, was, it, was, it was a great feeling to, to be a part of the fans. And I sometimes, they never, I was an enemy, but they always <laughs> would smile and, and make jokes with me. So it was, it was always fun to be with the fans. Well, I, I, so many people are such a huge, Slick Watts fan, and I think it's because of the, all the effort when you played. I mean, you could just see how badly you wanted to be out there, and you always gave it your all. Do you think that that's uh, part of the reason that you were able to make it into the NBA? Because I know you weren't drafted. Well, as you said, I was, the people could tell, and I could I always, in my life, I always believe that you do your best. And when I got on the floor, I enjoyed it, and I always left everything I had out there. And for all the people who were six feet, six one, my size, and there are more people my size than Kareem's size, so they knew. Say, if I was playing, I would be playing like that little guy. He give it his all. So I always hustled, and after the game, <laughs> I would wait and throw my headband out, and I see people now. So look what you actually came to my kid's birthday party. <laughs> you left the game and went to their party, and I didn't have the big, cool people around me. I was I was a fan person. I always were. Well, it, it sounds like you would give advice to young players who maybe aren't as tall as some of their counterparts that giving it your all certainly pays off. Hey, doesn't my, hurt. In, my, in our program, watchbasketball.com, we have camps every week. We have camps in Indian Reservation all over, Madden Park, Martin Luther King Junior Elementary School, and these are things I tell our kids every day that give out but never give up. And that was my philosophy. You know, I always believe that if I could breathe, I had a chance. And if you beat me today, I got mad if you would play me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you mentioned your camps and kids. Uh, some people might be surprised to learn that you are a teacher. I am a teacher. When did you get into teaching? Oh, I've been teaching now 32 years. 32 years of teaching and uh, eight years of being a grandpa. That's teaching also. <laughs> yes, a different kind, very hard. And uh, it keeps me active. It keeps me in tune with all the hip hop music. I was just about to ask you about the Blue Scholars, the seven minute film that yeah. you're in. What was that like? It was fun. It was fun to have some of these young guys uh, who didn't actually see me play, mm -hmm. but still knew my name. So it, it made me feel good when, uh, when the dogs still bark when they don't have no reason to bark because <laughs> I don't play it anymore. But it felt good to be around those young guys. And, and they all, you know, told me that their dad and their granddad loved me. And now they hadn't seen me play, but they say they had a piece of me too, so I like that. I like seeing that. Yeah. Well, Slick Watts, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by and chatting with us this well, evening. Thanks for having me. Supporting the Lenny Wilkins Foundation. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top of the hour.